The Mormon worldview is impossible and unbiblical. Um, there's different... One video that you ought to watch if you've never seen it is by Jason Lyle right here on YouTube. It's called The Ultimate Proof of Creation. And he goes through and explains how everyone has a world view, and that's absolutely true. Every person, no matter if they're an atheist or any religious view at all, it doesn't matter. Everybody has a way that they look at the world, and that is their world view. Everybody has a view on how the world got here, why it's here, why we're here, things like that. And the Mormon worldview is totally unbiblical, and it's totally impossible. Um, Joseph Smith taught that even spirit is matter. Um, in Doctrine and Covenants 131, verse 7, you can find that. Um, Joseph Smith very much was a materialistic worldview person. He held a worldview and presented a worldview that everything was matter. And that is totally absurd. It's impossible. We live in a world today where we can very definitely see and know that things definitely, everything that exists is definitely not matter. We live in a world filled with data. Data, information, thoughts. None of those things are matter. If you have a full DVD with a movie on it, it weighs exactly as much as an empty DVD with nothing on it. The same with data. It can be a fully loaded computer program on a DVD. It would weigh the exact same amount as a completely empty DVD. So you're not adding matter for that data. You're not subtracting matter for data. Our thoughts, there's a million different things that are very easy to, to demonstrate do not consist of matter. But the Mormon worldview would say that everything is matter and that matter, Joseph Smith even said that matter is eternal. Um, he taught that matter couldn't be created or destroyed even by God. And of course the Mormon gods are totally foreign to the God of the Bible because there's a multitude of them. Mormonism is one of the most polytheistic belief systems that exist. And Mormons would quickly object to that, I realize, because they would claim, well, for us, there's only one God. But that's not what polytheism is all about. Polytheists don't have to worship a whole bunch of gods. They just simply believe that there's more than one God. And they may, own, they may choose one of however many they think there are to worship. Well, Mormonism has taught that there's basically an infinite number of gods. And the Bible very clearly teaches that there is only one God. One of my favorite Bible verses is Isaiah 43, verse 10, that says, Ye are my witnesses, saith the Lord, and my servant, whom I have chosen, that you may know and believe me and understand that I am he. Before me there was no God formed, neither shall there be after me. So, um, this materialistic view, one of the really bizarre things, and if you're a Mormon you won't believe this at first, and you may hate me for even saying it, and that's totally fine. Hate me if you want to, but please just listen to what I have to say and check it out. Don't believe a thing I say, but look into it. Um, Joseph Smith and Brigham Young went so far as to declare that the moon and the sun were inhabited, that there were people living on the moon and the sun. That's because Mormonism ultimately believes that everything is eternal, whether it be matter, spirits, um, intelligence, you know, because Mormonism in a basic nutshell teaches that everyone always existed as intelligences, 
and those intelligences were later put into spirit bodies, and then them spirit bodies needed an earthly body, and then from an earthly body, then you can progress on to become a god. But there's a lot of inconsistencies with ideas like that. The god that created human bodies, that literally created human bodies, couldn't have had a human body or need a human body before he created human bodies. <laughs> The God of the Bible created every body that exists, whether it be of plants, animals, insects, humans, any type of a body that exists, God created. And one of the things that Mormonism strongly goes against is the first three words of the Bible, in the beginning. Mormonism doesn't believe so much as the first three words of the Bible because the Bible teaches that there was a beginning and that beginning you should ask of what? The Bible would very clearly indicate it was the beginning of time, the beginning of space, and the beginning of matter. It wasn't the beginning of God because God has no beginning. God has always been God. and there's no logical inconsistency there. You can have a God that's eternal. If you have a God that isn't eternal, then you need to answer the question, where did he come from? Who made him? But if you begin with an eternal God, which the Bible does, you don't have to answer that question because it's logically consistent. Um, but... Um, the Mormon worldview just has so many holes, and one of the biggest, easiest places to demonstrate the whole is the whole matter idea. Because, um, you know, Joseph Smith taught that everything is matter, and that if it isn't made out of matter, then it doesn't exist. Well, we live in a world with all sorts of things that are not material that we know for a fact exist. A blank DVD weighs the exact same amount as a fully loaded DVD. You can have a movie on there, you could have computer programs, you could have anything that you want on it. It'll weigh the exact same amount, whether it's totally full or totally empty, of data, movies, music, anything else that you want to put on it. Our ideas and our thoughts, they're not matter. Um, they're a part of, you know, our brain, we, we understand that our brain is processing ideas and, and, and things like that to some degree. Um, there's interesting stuff, though, the Bible even says, as a man thinks in his heart. So we have more than just a brain for thoughts. Um, I believe that our thoughts come from our spirit and our soul, which are not matter. <laughs> they have no physical existence. As, as far as a tangible, you see the Bible says that what we see is passing away and what we can't see is eternal. And that's something to think about if you're a Mormon um, because matter is one scientific um, law, the, the second law of thermodynamics says that everything tends toward disorder. We never see things just by themselves improve and get better over time. Everything breaks down, falls apart, gets worse, and you know, so the idea that matter could be eternal is scientifically absurd. So, um, but anyway, I just wanted to put out this video and give something to think about. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with anyone you'd like to. If you don't like the video, you can give it a thumbs down if you want to. But, and if you've got questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Um, Thank you very much for your time.